Welcome back to the keto diet guide you've been missing out on. Part 2 takes us even further into the intricacies of the ketogenic lifestyle, offering crucial insights and practical tips to optimize your experience with the keto diet. If you haven't already, we strongly recommend watching Part 1, where we laid the groundwork for understanding the fundamentals of the keto diet. This knowledge is essential for a successful and sustainable journey. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced keto enthusiast, catch up on part 1 before delving into the enriching content that part 2 has in store. Join us on this transformative journey towards a healthier, more vibrant you. Navigating the Sweet Symphony, unveiling alternative sweeteners delve into the realm of alternative sweeteners, where the quest for sweetness sidesteps the pitfalls of excess calories and carbs. Within this universe, sweetness finds expression through a myriad of options, each with its distinct flavor profile and unique benefits. Before we venture into recommendations, let's explore the nuances of each category. Broadly classified into three categories, natural sweeteners, sugar alcohols, and artificial sweeteners, these substitutes redefine the culinary landscape for those embracing a sugar-conscious lifestyle. Natural sweeteners. Stevia, a plant-derived sweetener, stevia stands out for its natural origin and zero-calorie allure. Monk fruit, harvested from monk fruit, this sweetener embraces natural sweetness without caloric baggage. Sugar alcohols, one. Erythritol, recognized for its digestive friendliness, erythritol offers sweetness with minimal impact on blood sugar. Xylitol, another sugar alcohol in the arsenal, xylitol sweetens the deal without derailing your blood glucose journey. Allulose, a rare sugar found in select fruits, allulose mirrors sugar's taste while maintaining its keto-friendly status. Artificial sweeteners. Aspartame, an artificial sweetener renowned for its intense sweetness, aspartame is commonly used in various low-calorie and sugar-free products. Sucralose, known for its heat stability, sucralose adds sweetness to both cold and hot dishes without contributing calories. Saccharin, one of the oldest artificial sweeteners, saccharin continues to find utility in a range of sugar-free products. As you traverse this landscape of sweet alternatives, understanding the nuances empowers you to make informed choices tailored to your taste preferences and dietary goals. Exploring nature's sweet bounty, a dive into natural sweeteners within the enchanting realm of natural sweeteners, the essence of sweetness is derived from concentrated components of edible plants. Let's embark on a journey through these time-honored alternatives that add a touch of sweetness to your culinary creations. Monk Fruit Extract Origins Hailing from China and known as Luo Han Guo, monk fruit has graced culinary traditions for millennia. Attributes, with zero calories, zero carbs, and a staggering sweetness that surpasses sugar by 200 times, monk fruit extract is a true keto gem. Versatility, the powdered form of monk fruit extract seamlessly dissolves in liquids, making it an ideal companion for tea or coffee. However, caution is advised when using the granulated form in marinades or liquid recipes due to its unique behavior when exposed to heat. Allulose. Nature's gift, derived from a monosaccharide present in wheat, jackfruit, figs, and raisins, allulose stands out as a sugar-like sweetener. Too. Low calorie marvel, despite its sweet allure, allulose boasts low calorie credentials and a glycemic index of zero, thanks to its non-metabolizing nature. Three. Application, embrace the goodness of allulose in your culinary pursuits, perhaps experimenting with a rare sugar sweetener crafted with this delightful alternative. Stevia. Botanical sweetness, sourced from the leaves of Stevia ribaudiana, this natural sweetener, often termed sugar leaf, boasts a sweetness level exceeding 150 times that of regular sugar. Ubiquitous presence, easily accessible in grocery stores and restaurants, Stevia is available in powder form and liquid concentrate, the latter proving excellent for sweetening beverages. Baking buddy, while Stevia may introduce a hint of bitterness, its adaptability shines in baking. Gradually incorporate it, tasting it along the way, to achieve the desired sweetness without overwhelming your taste buds. Unlocking the secrets of sugar alcohols, a sweet symphony of keto-friendly options dive into the fascinating world of sugar alcohols, your newfound allies for elevating the sweetness of your keto culinary endeavors. These versatile sweeteners, resembling familiar sugars, open up a realm of possibilities for baking, morning coffee rituals, and beyond. Let's unravel the magic within this category, exploring both zero net carb and lower carb options to guide you toward keto sweetness. As you embrace the sweet offerings from nature, these alternatives not only gratify your taste buds but also align with your keto journey, fostering a world of delectable possibilities. 
zero net carb sugar alcohols, erythritol profile, renowned for its great taste and minimal digestive side effects, erythritol stands out as a key ingredient in popular sweeteners like Truvia, Swerve, and various liquid stevia products. Recommendation, ideal for those venturing into keto baking, where its sweet magic shines without overwhelming your taste buds. Xylitol, sweetness parallels, offering a sweetness level akin to sugar with 60% of the calories, xylitol often graces sugar-free gums, mints, and toothpaste. Consideration, while a delightful sweetener, consumption in large amounts may lead to digestive symptoms like gas, bloating, and diarrhea. Mannitol, versatility, known for its utility as a coating for hard candies, dried fruits, and chewing gums, mannitol adds a pleasant taste and mouthfeel. Usage, a favorite ingredient in candies and gums, it contributes to the overall sweetness experience. Lactitol, sweetening dynamics, with approximately 40% of the sweetness of sugar, lactitol serves as a bulk sweetener replacement in low-calorie foods. Popularity, commonly embraced in baking, lactitol brings its unique sweet touch to a variety of keto-friendly recipes. Sugar alcohols with some carb count, recommended avoidance. 1. Maltitol. Sorbitol. Isomalt cautionary note, sugar alcohols, despite their sweetness prowess, tend to be extremely sweet. Exercise prudence in their usage, especially when adapting to baking with these alternatives. Embrace the sweet symphony of sugar alcohols, navigating the keto landscape with these flavorful companions. Whether zero carb or low carb, these sweeteners pave the way for a delightful culinary journey while aligning with your keto lifestyle. Navigating the controversy, a closer look at artificial sweeteners delve into the world of artificial sweeteners, potent sources of sweetness that have stirred debates within the keto community. Crafted from plants or, ironically, sugar itself, these sweeteners pack an intense punch and are often blended with sugars like maltodextrin or dextrose as carriers. However, their usage in the keto realm is met with reservations due to concerns about potential impacts on weight loss and ketosis in certain individuals. Below, we explore two popular artificial sweeteners, shedding light on their characteristics and controversies. Sucralose, Splenda, Sweetness Overload, Sucralose, famously recognized under the brand name Splenda, offers sweetness levels that far surpass those of regular sugar. Carrying agent concerns, notably, sucralose is commonly combined with maltodextrin or dextrose, introducing additional sugars into the mix. Controversy in Keto While widely used, sucralose raises eyebrows in the keto community due to reported instances of potential weight loss stalls and adverse effects on blood sugar levels and ketosis. Aspartame Sweet Symphony Aspartame, another prevalent artificial sweetener, is known for its intense sweetness, exceeding that of sugar. Keto Community Caution Like sucralose, aspartame is often associated with carriers like maltodextrin or dextrose, which can pose concerns for keto practitioners. 3. Weight loss and ketosis, the controversial nature of aspartame in the keto context revolves around anecdotal experiences suggesting possible disruptions in weight loss efforts and ketosis maintenance. Guidance on artificial sweeteners. While sucralose and aspartame are prevalent, caution is advised in their use within the keto lifestyle. The potential impact on weight loss, blood sugar levels, and ketosis varies among individuals, making it crucial to monitor personal responses. Embark on your keto journey with an informed approach to artificial sweeteners, acknowledging the controversies and making choices aligned with your health and wellness goals. Keto-friendly sweeteners, your allies in guilt-free indulgence. As you venture into the world of keto-friendly sweeteners, the quest is to find allies that harmonize with your health goals, providing sweetness without jeopardizing insulin and blood sugar levels. The ideal sweeteners boast a profile that includes minimal calories, zero carbs, and a pristine reputation. They shine by avoiding the pitfalls of hidden carbs and sidestep any unpleasant bitter flavors or aftertaste. Here, we present the creme de la creme of keto-friendly sweeteners. Erythritol. The calorie-free virtuoso, erythritol takes the lead as a sweetener with virtually no calories and no impact on blood sugar levels, making it a favorite among keto enthusiasts. Cool and crisp. Known for its cooling effect, erythritol adds a pleasant sweetness without any bitter undertones. Monk fruit. Nature's sweet gift, extracted from the monk fruit, this natural sweetener has been celebrated for centuries. It stands out with zero calories and is approximately 200 times sweeter than sugar. Balancing act, monk fruit contributes sweetness without tipping the scale on blood sugar, making it a revered choice in the keto community. Stevia. Plant-powered sweetness, derived from the Stevia ribotiana plant, Stevia is over 150 times sweeter than regular sugar. 
It serves as a versatile sweetening option for beverages, desserts, and more. Calorie Conscious Delight, with no calories and a low glycemic index, Stevia aligns seamlessly with keto dietary principles. Bonus Tip, Blend for Perfection. Elevating the experience, combining stevia and monk fruit can create a synergistic effect, mitigating any cooling sensations and erasing potential aftertaste. Flavor Harmony, the blend offers a well-rounded sweetness that enhances your culinary creations without compromising your commitment to keto excellence. As you embark on your keto journey, let these sweeteners be your trusted companions, adding delight to your meals and treats while keeping your carb count in check. Your indulgence can be guilt-free, thanks to the magic of erythritol, monk fruit, and stevia, a trio designed for sweetness on your keto terms. Navigating the world of keto baking, flour alternatives for guilt-free indulgence. Bid farewell to the days of resigning yourself from savoring a delicious donut or delectable baked treat on a keto journey, where the seemingly innocent all-purpose flour lurks with nearly 100 grams of carbs per cup. The temptation is real, but the consequences for ketosis are daunting. Fear not, for within the realm of keto baking, a world of scrumptious possibilities awaits, unveiling a palate-pleasing array of low-carb substitutes for the conventional, high-carb all-purpose flour. The key lies in embracing grain-free, gluten-free alternatives that open the door to a new era of guilt-free indulgence. Almond Flour, Nutty Marvel, Almond Flour stands out as a keto-friendly powerhouse, offering a delightful nutty flavor while remaining low in carbs and high in healthy fats. Versatile Wonder, from cookies to pancakes, almond flour seamlessly replaces all-purpose flour, ensuring your baked goods retain a moist and tender texture. Coconut Flour Exotic Flourish, Coconut Flour, derived from the pulpy goodness of coconuts, introduces a subtle tropical essence to your keto treats. Absorbent Wizard, known for its exceptional absorbent properties, coconut flour requires less quantity than traditional flour, making it an efficient choice in keto recipes. Flaxseed Meal Fiber-rich Dynamo, harness the benefits of flaxseed meal, abundant in fiber and healthy omega-3 fatty acids. Its nutty undertones contribute to a robust flavor profile. Baking Ally, flaxseed meal acts as an excellent binding agent in keto baking, ensuring your creations achieve the perfect consistency. Psyllium Husk Powder Texture Maestro, psyllium husk powder steps in as a textural magician, providing elasticity to keto doughs and batters. Digestive Boost, beyond its baking prowess, psyllium husk powder is celebrated for its digestive benefits, adding a wholesome touch to your keto delicacies. Unlock the door to keto baking mastery by embracing these flour alternatives. Delve into the enchanting world of almond flour, coconut flour, flaxseed meal, and psyllium husk powder, where the delights are grain-free, gluten-free, and carb-conscious. Your journey to guilt-free indulgence has just begun. Exploring the Keto Baker's Pantry, Flour Alternatives for Delectable Treats Embark on a keto baking adventure, where the tantalizing world of low-carb substitutes for traditional all-purpose flour beckons. Delight in guilt-free indulgence by acquainting yourself with these versatile and commonly used keto-friendly flours, each bringing its unique essence to the culinary canvas. Almond Flour, Keto's All-Purpose Flour Alternative Nutty Marvel, finely ground blanched almonds form the essence of almond flour, imparting a nutty flavor and a moist, slightly dense character to baked goods. Nutritional riches, packed with vitamin E, magnesium, iron, manganese, calcium, and potassium, almond flour stands as a health-conscious choice for keto enthusiasts. Cooking tips, ideal for cakes, cookies, and quick breads, almond flour becomes the cornerstone of keto almond flour favorites, including keto bread, lemon bars, keto waffles, and more. 1 quarter cup, 28 grams, 162 calories, 14 grams fat, 2.5 grams net carbs, 6 grams protein. Almond meal textural distinction, similar to almond flour but with a coarser, grainier texture due to the inclusion of almond skins in the grinding process. Versatile use, almond meal finds its place in baked goods, offering denser results than almond flour, and serves as an excellent alternative to breadcrumbs and savory dishes. 1 quarter cup, 28 grams, 162 calories, 14 grams fat, 2.5 grams net carbs, 6 grams protein. Coconut flour light and fine, with a subtle coconut flavor, low glycemic index, and high fiber content, coconut flour proves to be a stellar choice for low-carb baking. Nutritional attributes, lower in calories and carbs, rich in protein and fat, coconut flour adds exceptional filling qualities to keto treats. 1 quarter cup, 24 grams, 120 calories, 4 grams fat, 6 grams net carbs, 4 grams protein.
Ground flax seed or flax meal nutrient rich powerhouse. Packed with omega 3 fatty acids, fiber, and low in digestible carbs, flax seed meal enhances both nutritional value and texture in keto baking. Baking tips Expect quicker browning in baked items containing flax seed meal, adjust oven temperature accordingly. It also serves as a remarkable egg substitute. Embrace the richness of keto baking by incorporating these flour alternatives into your culinary repertoire. Whether you opt for the nutty allure of almond flour, the textural distinction of almond meal, the light finesse of coconut flour, or the nutrient-packed goodness of flaxseed meal, each flour opens avenues to delightful creations without compromising your low-carb commitment. Dive into the artistry of keto baking, where flavor meets nutrition in perfect harmony. 1 tablespoon, 37 calories, 3 grams fat, 0 grams net carbs, 1.3 grams protein. Diverse flower horizons, beyond the basics as you delve into the expansive realm of keto-friendly flowers, familiarize yourself with additional options that elevate your baking expertise. Beyond the staple choices, consider experimenting with the following flowers to add unique textures and flavors to your keto creations. Chia Seed Flower Tiny Powerhouses Ground chia seeds transform into a flower that brings both texture and nutritional benefits to your keto recipes. Nutrient boost, rich in fiber, omega-3 fatty acids, and various essential nutrients, chia seed flour contributes a wholesome element to your baked goods. Nut flowers, walnut flour, hazelnut flour, pecan flour distinct nuttiness. Each nut flour imparts its unique nutty essence, adding depth and character to your keto treats. Homemade excellence, while walnut and hazelnut flours are readily available, crafting pecan flour may involve a DIY approach with online recipes guiding the way. Incorporate walnut flour for a robust, earthy flavor. Embrace hazelnut flour's aromatic and slightly sweet profile. Indulge in pecan flour's rich, buttery notes, crafted with love in your own kitchen. Exploring these flour alternatives widens the spectrum of textures and tastes at your disposal. Whether you opt for the tiny power of chia seed flour or venture into the realm of distinct nut flours like walnut, hazelnut, and pecan, each choice promises a culinary journey enriched with creativity and flavor. Expand your keto baking repertoire, and let these diverse flowers inspire a symphony of delightful creations. Enhancing Structure and Texture, a guide to binding agents in the world of keto baking. Achieving the desired structure and texture often involves the use of binding agents that collaborate seamlessly with alternative flowers. These agents not only mimic the characteristics of traditional wheat flour but also contribute to the overall appeal of the final culinary creation. Here are two key binding agents essential for elevating your keto baking endeavors. Xanthan gum, crafting stability. Nature of xanthan gum, derived from bacteria fermented sugar, xanthan gum stands as a gluten-free, powdered binding agent that imparts structure to baked goods and thickness to soups and stews. Versatile application, as a reliable substitute for cornstarch, xanthan gum finds its way into keto recipes, such as the delectable slicing bread and tantalizing lemon bars. Cooking wisdom, use xanthan gum sparingly, a teaspoon or less is usually sufficient for thickening soups, sauces, or providing structure to your keto baked treats. Calories, 30 fat, 0 grams carbs, 7 grams, net carbs, 0 grams protein, 0 grams. Psyllium husks, the fiber-rich marvel. The psyllium effect, sourced from the psyllium seed, this seed's husk, when ground into a fine powder, becomes an excellent, fiber-rich binding agent with a thick and gluey consistency upon interaction with liquid. Expansion Magic Psyllium husks exhibit remarkable expansion, increasing up to 10 times their original size, contributing both texture and binding prowess. Cooking Pro Tip An economical binding choice, a mere half teaspoon of psyllium husk per serving can effectively thicken your favorite keto recipes. Calories 30 fat, 0 grams net carbs, 0 grams protein, 0 grams. As you integrate these binding agents with sugar-free keto-friendly sweeteners, a world of previously unimaginable baked goods unfolds. How about indulging in keto vanilla donuts with chocolate glaze? Let the creativity flow in your kitchen, and savor the delightful results of your everyday keto-friendly low-carb recipes. Ketogenic diet, also referred to as the keto diet or very low-carbohydrate ketogenic diet, centers on inducing a metabolic state called ketosis. Achieving ketosis involves understanding your body's requirements in terms of calories, carbohydrates, fats, and protein. Primarily, the diet relies on significantly reducing carbohydrate intake and moderately restricting protein intake. A topic we'll delve into further in a subsequent post on understanding macros. 
When your body is in a state of ketosis, it undergoes specific changes, primarily concerning the utilization of fat. Both stored fat and dietary fats, and the subsequent production of ketone bodies. Ketones which serve as an alternative source of energy, can be produced by the body from both body fat and dietary fat. The liver is responsible for this ketone body production, creating a new energy source for the entire body, including the brain. Ketones, along with the fat present in the body, and the fats consumed in the diet, replace glucose as the primary source of energy or calories. Maintaining low daily carbohydrate intake is crucial to keeping ketone levels high. This alternative energy source derived from ketones burns more efficiently and sustains energy levels consistently throughout the day. Additionally, it contributes to reduced inflammation in the body and aids in weight loss for many individuals. While this dietary approach has proven highly effective in reducing excess weight and managing blood sugar levels, numerous individuals maintain their existing healthy weight by adjusting the distribution of calories obtained from fats, proteins, and carbohydrates. Commitment to adopting this eating style is essential for those seeking a ketogenic lifestyle as it necessitates an understanding of one's body and its nutritional requirements, commonly referred to as macros. For those using the ketogenic approach to aid in weight and fat loss, transitioning to this eating style often involves reducing total calorie intake, utilizing the ketogenic diet for disease management. The ketogenic diet has been implemented in various countries for diverse reasons. In the United States, a significant portion of medical, and dietary research focuses on its application for patients with seizure disorders, particularly epilepsy, due to its efficacy in reducing seizure activity in the brain. It's crucial to recognize that individual responses to dietary interventions vary, and the ketogenic diet is no exception. Factors such as age, gender, family and personal medical history, and genetic predispositions can influence how one's body responds to the specific macronutrient composition required to maintain ketosis. It is advisable to discuss these factors with a medical provider or a dietitian who is familiar with your health history and possesses a thorough understanding of the ketogenic diet. While the ketogenic diet is often characterized as high in fats, it's essential to understand the relative nature of this designation. A properly executed ketogenic diet encompasses a variety of elements, including fresh vegetables, wholesome fats, dairy, and meats. Numerous vegetables rich in essential vitamins, fiber, and magnesium align with low-carb slash keto principles. Unfortunately, many fruits are excluded due to their high carb content, making them unsuitable for those adhering to a keto lifestyle. The focus then turns to meats and proteins. Despite the emphasis on a high fat percentage in daily intake, it is crucial not to overconsume protein, a common misconception. Similar to managing carb intake, one cannot freely indulge in unlimited protein consumption. While meat is generally carb-free, it contains calories and protein, both of which need to be monitored and consumed in alignment with specific macros. Overindulging in protein poses drawbacks, limiting available calories for other essential macros and micronutrients required for a well-balanced ketogenic diet plan. Excessive protein consumption can trigger gluconeogenesis, a process where the liver converts protein, amino acids, into fuel for the body. This interferes with achieving ketosis and may lead to unwanted weight gain. Understanding and adhering to your specific moderate protein intake requirement is paramount for both your health and the success of your ketogenic lifestyle. Individuals engaged in vigorous exercise, weightlifting, or extensive running may necessitate higher protein calorie intake than those leading a sedentary lifestyle. In addition to maintaining a moderate protein intake, it is crucial to optimize the utilization of macronutrients and ensure an adequate intake of micronutrients. Micronutrients encompass the essential vitamins and minerals required for sustaining a well-balanced and healthy diet. Relying solely on items like bacon and bulletproof coffee will not suffice. Key components of a ketogenic diet include leafy greens, non-starchy vegetables, avocados, broccoli, and cauliflower. These items serve as staples due to their provision of essential vitamins, minerals, and fiber, contributing to overall health. Those who neglect proper micronutrient intake often experience symptoms associated with the keto flu, such as constipation, fatigue, muscle cramps, headaches, and hair loss. These issues are not exclusive to the ketogenic diet, but are prevalent in all diets when micronutrient requirements are not met. Magnesium, potassium, and fiber. Crucial elements found abundantly in vegetables, cannot be adequately substituted by supplements alone. 
Consuming a diet rich in vegetables is unparalleled in providing a natural source of vitamins and minerals. In summary, the ketogenic diet deviates from traditional low-fat diets, characterized by its emphasis on high-fat content, moderate protein intake, and low-carbohydrate consumption. Adhering to this diet involves incorporating healthy fats from sources like avocados, olive oil, coconut oil, MCT oil, and dairy, along with micro. Nutrients derived from vegetables such as spinach, cauliflower, and broccoli. Protein sources include meats like pork, beef, chicken, fish, as well as eggs and nuts. Maintaining a keto lifestyle becomes more manageable by diligently calculating macros and devising a meal plan to prevent exceeding daily recommended net carb intake. Understanding net carbs in simple terms, net carbs represent the total grams of carbohydrates in a given food minus the grams of sugar alcohol, and fiber. The basic formula is, net carbohydrates equals total carbohydrates, fiber, sugar alcohols, if applicable. For those unfamiliar with sugar alcohols, you can find detailed information about them here. Let's take the example of calculating net carbs for a medium avocado, which, incidentally, does not contain sugar alcohols. A medium avocado has 17.1 grams of total carbs and 13.5 grams of fiber. To determine its net carbs, subtract the fiber, 13.5 grams, from the total carbs, 17.1 grams, resulting in 3.6 grams of net carbs, i.e., 17.1 grams carbs, 13.5 grams fiber equals 3.6 grams net carbs for one medium avocado. Quite a good reason to savor some guacamole. Now equipped with knowledge on calculating macros, you can set your daily macro intake to manage body weight, support ketosis, and meet calorie goals. This understanding also helps you become more acquainted with keto terminology. You can manually record your daily macros or calculate them using app like MyFitnessPal. If you find yourself among the many individuals venturing into the realm of the keto diet to shed body fat, or reap health benefits such as stabilizing blood sugar, the desire for immediate results is quite common. You might be diligently incorporating healthy fats into your diet, monitoring carb intake, and regularly testing blood glucose and blood ketone levels with a ketone meter. However, you may wonder why test results vary frequently and significantly or why the anticipated rapid drops in blood sugar levels and spikes in blood ketone levels are not materializing. My advice is simple, exercise and patience. A prevalent challenge for newcomers to the keto diet is the expectation to swiftly achieve their goals or attain a heightened state of ketosis. It's crucial to understand that each person reacts uniquely to a high-fat diet or any dietary regimen, eliminating the need for comparisons. Entering ketosis is not an instantaneous occurrence. It typically takes anywhere from 2 to 7 days for your body to transition into ketosis. Influenced by factors such as your body composition, health status, activity level, and dietary choices. Ketosis is a natural metabolic process where fat stores become the primary fuel source instead of glucose derived from carbohydrates. Activating this process and altering your body's preferred energy source and metabolic state involves significantly reducing carbohydrate intake, increasing fat intake and allowing your body the necessary time to adapt. This adaptation period allows your liver to convert fats from your food and body, adipose tissue, into ketones, serving as the new energy source. Regardless of the specific duration it takes for you, achieving nutritional ketosis is fundamentally tied to your dietary choices. Standard recommendations for a ketogenic diet involve consuming 70 to 80 percent of your daily calories from fats, 20 to 25 percent from protein, and 5 to 10 percent from carbohydrates. These percentages can vary based on your lifestyle and individual factors. As long as you adhere to your optimal macros and follow the principles of a low-carb keto diet, you are on the right track to reach ketosis. Instead of fixating solely on the end result, focus on the journey. The initial month or two on keto serves as a learning experience, where you familiarize yourself with the diet. Observe how your body responds to different foods. Identify challenges, and adapt to the shift from burning carbs to burning fat for energy. You may encounter symptoms like keto flu and keto breath during this adjustment period. Engaging in physical activity might allow for a slightly higher daily net carb intake as your body undergoes the transition to fat burning. If results don't manifest as swiftly as desired, stay positive. Remind yourself that you are embarking on a new, health-conscious, fat-burning lifestyle, and stay committed to the path of low-carb living. Over time, the desired outcomes will materialize. While engaging in fasting or intermittent fasting, 
can expedite the onset of ketosis, it is by no means mandatory, and it might be more of a commitment than you're ready for initially. Whether you're delving into the keto diet for the benefits of ketone bodies, such as fueling fat loss, achieving weight loss, or pursuing other health objectives, it's important to approach this transition with self-compassion. Navigate through the anticipated side effects. Ensure an adequate intake of electrolytes. To alleviate them, and before long, you'll find yourself thriving on the keto diet. To gauge whether you are progressing into a state of ketosis, observe the following signs. Whether experiencing some or all of them, these signals affirm that you are on the path to elevating your ketone levels. Top 10 Indicators of Entering Ketosis Number 1. Keto breath or unusual breath odor If you detect a fruity, acetone, or metallic scent in your breath, you're experiencing what's commonly known as keto breath. This odor results from the conversion of fat to ketones, specifically acetoacetate, as your body shifts from using glucose to burning fat for energy. Initially, you may produce more ketones than your body utilizes, manifesting as a noticeable scent. As your body becomes more efficient at using ketones, keto breath usually resolves. Number 2. Weight loss Many individuals adopt a ketogenic diet for its weight loss benefits, which can be substantial, especially with prolonged adherence. In the initial stages of keto, rapid weight loss may occur due to the diuretic effect of ketosis, causing a quick reduction in water weight. It's crucial to stay hydrated during this period. As your body becomes accustomed to keto and converts fat to ketones for energy, sustained body fat loss becomes more prominent over time. Number 3. Fatigue Fatigue is a common short-term effect during the transition to ketosis, often linked to dehydration. Reducing carbohydrate intake prompts lower insulin production and depletion of glycogen stores, leading to increased water excretion along with glycogen. This rapid water loss can result in dehydration, contributing to fatigue. Staying hydrated and adding a pinch of Himalayan salt to your water can help balance electrolytes, offsetting the quick water loss. Number 4. Decreased energy for exercise initiating keto may initially impact your exercise performance, causing decreased energy levels. This is a common and transient effect when transitioning to a keto diet. Your body, accustomed to utilizing glucose for workouts, seeks alternative energy sources when carb consumption is limited. As your body adapts to relying on ketones for fuel, your exercise performance should return to regular levels, and you might even notice increased endurance. Number 5. Appetite suppression ketosis influences hunger-related hormones, reducing levels of both ghrelin, appetite hormone, and cholecystokinin, CCK, which induces feelings of fullness. Elevated ketone levels result in reduced hunger, increased satisfaction between meals, and the ability to comfortably extend fasting periods without cravings for processed or sugary foods. Number 6. Improved cognitive performance While you may experience initial brain fog during the keto initiation, expect enhanced cognitive performance after a couple of weeks. The brain favors ketones, and studies indicate that ketones positively impact various cognitive functions, including mental clarity, focus, and concentration. Improved mood and decreased anxiety-related symptoms may also accompany this cognitive enhancement. Number 7. Digestive issues during the early stages of adopting keto and transitioning to a high-fat diet, digestive issues like diarrhea or constipation may arise. Taking digestive enzymes designed to aid fat digestion can assist with diarrhea while ensuring a clean keto diet with sufficient vegetable fiber helps address constipation. Digestive challenges typically subside as the body adjusts to the new dietary pattern. Number 8. Insomnia difficulty staying asleep can be another sign of adjusting to ketosis. Studies indicate that the initial stages of keto may lead to shorter REM or dream sleep. However, these issues generally resolved within a few weeks. Number 9. Muscle cramps reducing carbohydrate intake results in lower insulin production, causing kidneys to release more sodium, which may disrupt essential electrolyte balance and lead to temporary muscle cramping. Incorporating a pinch of Himalayan salt into your water can help rebalance electrolytes and provide relief. Number 10. Increased ketones in the blood The most accurate method to confirm ketosis is by testing blood ketones using a ketone meter. Entering ketosis requires time for the body to adjust to the new metabolic state, relying on fat as the primary energy source instead of excessive carb intake. The mentioned signs confirm that you are in ketosis and progressing toward the ultimate goal of a ketogenic lifestyle, fat adaptation. Achieving fat adaptation may take weeks to months of mindful dietary choices, including monitoring net carbs or total carbs based on preference. Once achieved, benefits include continued fat loss, sustained energy, reduced hunger between meals, improved overall wellness, and more. 
For additional insights, explore how a low-carb diet and ketosis impact autophagy, cell recycling, insulin levels type 2 diabetes, and physical activity. I'm feeling quite miserable. Sound familiar? As you navigate through the initial week or second week of a ketogenic diet, you might experience a rather unpleasant state. However, don't be disheartened. This discomfort is a positive sign, indicating that what you're undertaking is effective, and your body is undergoing the challenging transition from relying on glucose, carbohydrate slash sugar, for energy, to embracing fat burning through ketosis, ketones. The commonly encountered side effects associated with the keto transition are so widespread that they have a designated term, the keto flu or the carb flu. Keto flu encompasses various temporary side effects that may manifest when initiating a keto diet, focusing solely on keto-friendly foods, and significantly reducing carbohydrate intake. Although these symptoms are short-lived, they may resemble the experience of withdrawing from an addictive substance, as essentially, you're bidding farewell to sugar. The positive news is that these flu-like symptoms are temporary and, even better, can be alleviated if you navigate through this initiation process with awareness. So, instead of enduring the challenges of a low-carb diet in silence as you embark on the keto diet, for weight loss or other health benefits, familiarize yourself with the common symptoms. The revitalizing, fat-burning benefits that accompany the commitment to a low-carbohydrate diet are on the horizon. It's not just your mind that's adapting to the demands of transitioning into a keto lifestyle. If you've been predominantly fueled by carbs, glycogen, a common scenario, your body is recalibrating to function without depending on glucose as its primary energy source. Here are some typical indicators that your body is adjusting, and you might be encountering the keto flu. Brain fog. Body ache slash muscle soreness. Constipation. Diarrhea. Dizziness. Drowsiness. Muscle cramp slash cramping. Nausea. Irritability. Sugar cravings. For most individuals, keto flu symptoms may emerge within the initial one or two days of significantly reducing carb intake, especially if their diet has been rich in refined sugar and processed foods. If one's diet is already relatively low in processed sugars and starches when starting the low-carb, high-fat diet, they might experience only mild keto flu symptoms or none at all. As is the case with all aspects of the keto lifestyle and life in general, everyone's experience is unique, and that's perfectly acceptable. Even in cases of an exceptionally challenging bout of keto flu, the symptoms typically subside within a week or less, it's only exceptionally rare for them to persist for a more extended period, possibly up to a month. If discomfort persists for an extended duration, consulting with a healthcare provider is always advisable. Here are several keto flu remedies to alleviate the physical discomfort as your body adapts to its new fuel source. Drink plenty of water. The keto diet has diuretic effects, leading to common dehydration that can trigger various keto flu symptoms. Staying well hydrated throughout the day is a simple and effective remedy. Replenish electrolytes. A deficiency in electrolytes is a prevalent cause of keto flu symptoms, contributing to fatigue. To address this issue, maintain a balanced intake of sodium, magnesium, and potassium. Incorporating items like bone broth, avocados, or a sprinkle of Himalayan sea salt in your diet can help. Eat more fat, insufficient consumption of keto-friendly macros can lead to low energy levels and contribute to keto flu. If you're feeling sluggish, indulge in a healthy snack rich in fats, such as celery with salted butter or fresh, salted avocado. Including nutrient-dense leafy greens in your diet can also be beneficial. Exercise moderately, engaging in light activities like walking, yoga, or non-strenuous biking can help fend off flu symptoms. However, it's advisable to avoid intense workouts involving vigorous running or weightlifting during the initial adaptation phase. Prioritize rest, ensure an ample amount of nightly sleep and rest when fatigue sets in. The metabolic shift during the adaptation to ketosis requires substantial energy, so allowing sufficient idle time is crucial. Feeling better already? If not, remain patient and persistent. Dietary changes impact the body, and the adjustment to living in a state of ketosis takes time. Grab a tall glass of water, add a pinch of sea salt, and congratulate yourself for prioritizing self-care, hydration, and resilience for the sake of improved health. Throughout this process, your blood sugar and insulin levels will gradually normalize, and your ketone levels will remain sufficiently elevated to facilitate a swift transition. Also, bear in mind, that seeking medical advice before making significant changes to your diet is always a prudent approach. Step 3. Evaluating ketosis, comparing measurement methods for blood, breath, and urine. 
For individuals engaging in fasting or adhering to a low-carb, paleo, or ketogenic diet, where carbohydrate intake is restricted, the production of ketones is likely. However, determining whether one is in a state of nutritional ketosis and understanding the level of ketosis attained requires testing. Although the process seems straightforward, gaining accurate results necessitates comprehension of the different testing methods. This information aims to provide clarity on the various ways to measure ketones and optimize result accuracy. Significance of Ketone Testing The focus of a ketogenic diet lies in consuming foods that induce and sustain ketosis. However, achieving and maintaining desired ketone levels involves more than just adhering to keto-friendly food choices. Factors like the quantity of food consumed and individual reactions to both food and activities can impact ketone and blood glucose levels, influencing the success of ketosis. Despite seemingly following all guidelines correctly, individuals may still struggle to attain their desired ketosis levels. The only reliable method to ascertain these levels is through ketone testing. Tracking ketone levels provides valuable insights into the body's response to dietary choices. It offers clues and opportunities to fine-tune dietary adjustments. Monitoring enables individuals to identify potential triggers for fluctuations in ketone levels. Whether adjusting carb intake or pinpointing specific foods causing variations, testing allows individuals to understand the impact of minor dietary changes. Additionally, it aids in observing how ketone levels respond to various stimuli, such as exercise or the consumption of particular types of keto-friendly sugars. Testing remains the essential means to gain this insightful information. Assessing ketosis, a comparison of methods for measuring blood, breath, and urine ketones. For those engaged in fasting or adhering to low-carb, paleo, or ketogenic diets that restrict carbohydrate intake, the likelihood of ketone production is high. Beta-hydroxybutyrate BHB, BHB stands out as the most predominant and stable ketone body found in the bloodstream, easily transported to cells for use as fuel. It serves as a major energy source for the brain, organs, and muscles, constituting approximately 70% of the available ketone energy. Now that you're acquainted with the three types of ketones, let's delve into the various testing methods. We'll explore which type of ketones each method assesses and evaluate the accuracy levels of the results. Urine strips, a safety check for diabetics widely accessible in drugstores and supermarkets. Urine strips operate by immersing the strip in a urine sample for a brief period. The color of the strip is then compared to the hues on the package to determine the ketone concentration in the urine, with results ranging from no ketones to highly concentrated amounts. The darker the color, the higher the ketone presence in the urine. Primarily designed to monitor diabetic ketones and prevent diabetics from unwittingly entering ketoacidosis, urine strips play a crucial role in safeguarding against this serious metabolic state caused by insulin deficiency. Ketoacidosis occurs when elevated ketone levels coincide with very high glucose levels. It's important to note that urine strips are effective in preventing this dangerous state in diabetics. However, due to their measurement of excess or excreted ketones in the urine, they lack accuracy in determining nutritional ketosis and assessing how efficiently the body utilizes ketones as fuel. During the initial transition to ketosis, the body may produce excess acetoacetate ketones, detectable in urine and on urine strip tests. If an early urine strip test indicates high ketones, one might mistakenly believe it reflects the level of ketosis. However, this reading merely signals the presence of excess ketones being excreted, not an accurate representation of ketosis levels in the blood. Repeating the test after a few weeks while adhering to a keto diet might yield no ketones in the urine, even if the individual is genuinely in ketosis. As the body becomes fat adapted, it becomes more efficient in utilizing ketone bodies and is less likely to expel them. Hydration levels can impact accuracy, leading to inconsistent results. Furthermore, the subjective nature of comparing strip color to the package color affects the readings. It's crucial to note that the obtained reading is not a reflection of the current moment, but a cumulative measure of ketones present since the last urination. Urine strips typically maintain accuracy for 30 days from the vial's opening due to sensitivity to air and humidity. In summary, urine strips serve as a cost-effective option when initiating a keto journey and fulfill their primary medical purpose by monitoring urine ketones to prevent diabetic ketoacidosis in diabetics. However, they exhibit less accuracy in measuring nutritional ketosis compared to alternative methods. Breath analysis, assessing acetone levels understanding the breath test entails a comprehension of how the body metabolizes ketones. Breath meters non-invasively gauge breath acetone in parts per million, a byproduct of fat metabolism detectable in exhaled breath due to its minute size. 
numerous external factors can impact acetone levels, potentially leading to sensor failure or obstruction. These factors encompass the use of breath mints, chewing gum, specific sugar substitutes, tobacco, e-cigarettes, cough drops, lip balm, mouthwash, toothpaste, foods like garlic, beverages such as alcohol, coffee, green tea, and fermented drinks, medications like disulfiram. Cleaning solutions, disinfectant sprays, and environmental elements affecting breath temperature. Additionally, acetone levels may vary based on activity levels. And the time of day, influenced by breathing patterns and respiratory rates. When conducting a breath test, essential considerations include device calibration, sensor expiration, breath technique, and environmental conditions. Due to the sensitivity to sensor failure, it is crucial to calibrate the meter to a known control. Calibration requirements and frequency vary among device manufacturers, involving firmware updates, specific gases, or recommended calibration processes. Breath acetone sensors expire due to testing frequency and temperature, necessitating adherence to the manufacturer's recommended sensor replacement schedule to ensure working with a current product. Obtaining accurate and reliable breath samples relies on repeatable breathing patterns. Techniques for inhaling, hypoventilation, and exhaling, hyperventilation, differ among devices. Opting for meter brands that routinely validate the clinical accuracy of their sensors against a mass spectrometer enhances confidence in the reliability of a breath test meter. In summary, the breath test focuses on assessing acetone, a byproduct resulting from the breakdown of acetoacetate, but it doesn't measure the ketones actively utilized as the body's fuel source. The blood meter, the apex of ketone measurement The blood ketone test precisely examines ketone levels in the bloodstream and can be conveniently conducted at home using a blood ketone meter, offering swift and accurate results. It stands out as the most dependable method for gauging the level of ketosis. Specifically, the blood meter measures beta-hydroxybutyrate, a ketone body synthesized in the liver and the primary active form of ketones in the blood. Beta-hydroxybutyrate is the predominant ketone utilized by the body during ketosis, making it crucial to measure. The numerical value displayed on the blood meter directly represents the current ketone level in the body, akin to a fuel tank reading. This method eliminates the need for estimations or interpretations, providing an accurate and real-time assessment of ketone levels. To conclude, the blood meter sets the standard for measuring ketosis levels, offering a quantitative evaluation of the primary ketone actively used as fuel by the body. This approach provides immediate insights into metabolism and is widely regarded as the most accurate among various testing methods. Before we proceed, a brief public service announcement. The information presented here is not intended as a substitute for medical advice. And it does not apply to individuals with type 1 diabetes. If you have type 1 diabetes or other serious medical conditions, it is essential to collaborate with your healthcare provider to determine your goals and establish an appropriate diet. Comprehending ketone levels nutritional ketosis commences at molecular concentration levels of half a millimole/l. Crossing this 0.5 threshold signifies being in ketosis. Nutritional ketosis is then classified as light within the range of 1.0 millimoles/l progressing to optimal in the 1.0 millimoles/l through 3.0 millimoles/l range. Now, the question arises, what ketone level should you aim for? The answer depends on your specific goals. The optimal ketone level will differ if your objective is weight loss. Compared to preventing illness, enhancing mental clarity, or achieving improved physical fitness. To aid in determining appropriate targets. It's advisable to consult a ketone levels chart, which can be found in our ketone zone chart below. What should your ketone level be? If your main aim for incorporating the ketogenic diet into your lifestyle is weight loss. Achieving a state of light nutritional ketosis, typically ranging from half a millimole-l to 1.0 millimoles-l, serves as a good starting point. Subsequently, the target is to attain optimal ketosis, characterized by ketone levels between 1.0 millimoles-l and 3.0 millimoles-l. Individuals using the ketogenic diet for therapeutic purposes, such as addressing medical conditions, like epilepsy, cancer, or endocrine and metabolic disorders, are generally advised to aim for higher ketone levels specifically in the range of 3.0 millimoles-l to 5.0 millimoles-l or thereabouts. Those practicing fasting or following a diet with a higher fat-to-protein ratio may set their sights on levels in the range of 3.0 millimoles-l to 8.0 millimoles-l. However, it's essential to emphasize that reaching these elevated levels is not mandatory. 
with patience and commitment to a ketogenic diet, attaining this range is achievable. How does exercise impact ketone levels? The effects vary among individuals, but, in general, anaerobic exercise tends to decrease circulating ketones, elevate blood glucose slightly, and cause a temporary drop in ketone levels. On the other hand, aerobic exercises like swimming, walking, jogging, and cycling generally increases by circulating ketones. Does this mean avoiding anaerobic exercise while on a ketogenic diet? Not at all. Monitoring ketone levels helps you understand how your body responds to different foods and activities. This knowledge empowers you to adjust your nutrition and food choices. Ensuring optimal fueling for your body and the maintenance of ideal ketone levels. Regardless of the goal, it is highly recommended not to strive for the orange or red zones, as they are extremely difficult to reach and do not contribute significantly to the diet's benefits. Individuals who should approach these zones cautiously are those with type 1 diabetes, as they may be prone to developing ketoacidosis, a serious condition that requires urgent medical attention. For those with type 1 diabetes, the potential risks associated with these zones may outweigh the benefits. Emphasizing the importance of developing a diet plan in consultation with their healthcare provider. Anyone considering the adoption of the keto diet should engage in a thorough discussion with their medical professional. To determine the most appropriate approach, taking into account potential risks related to pre-existing medical conditions. Such as kidney stones, hypercholesterolemia or a family history of heart attack or stroke before the age of 60. The best times for ketone and glucose testing Testing ketones and glucose at consistent times each day is essential for tracking progress. The ideal testing time is one that is convenient for regular, daily testing, facilitating easy comparison of results at the same time each day. Although sleep and meals can influence test outcomes, certain times are more favorable. Morning fasted test, conducting a test in the morning before ingesting anything provides a baseline unaffected by the dawn effect. An early morning increase in blood sugar caused by a natural rise in cortisol. For accurate fasting baseline results, wait an hour or two to three hours after waking, depending on individual metabolic factors. Before lunch or dinner, for insightful ketone readings, test. Right before lunch or dinner, at least two to three hours after consuming any food or drink, except water. Two. Waiting two to three hours after eating ensures a truer reading of progress. Before and after meals for food sensitivities. Although generally discouraged, testing after eating can help identify how your body responds to various foods. Testing just before a meal, then 60 minutes and three hours afterward. Provides valuable insights into food reactions. Testing your GKI. The glucose ketone index, GKI, offers a comprehensive view of metabolic status and ketosis. Testing GKI twice a day, after waking and before lunch or dinner, is recommended. How often to test ketones and glucose? For individuals newly adopting a ketogenic diet, frequent testing, perhaps twice a day, is advised, along with testing for food sensitivities. For routine verification of ketosis and diet adherence, once a day suffices. Testing also becomes valuable when considering adjustments to diet components like carbohydrates or protein. Positive results act as encouragement visually displaying progress even before it is physically felt. Unlocking metabolic health with the glucose ketone index, GKI. When aiming for the optimal metabolic zone within a ketogenic state, the glucose ketone index, GKI, emerges as the ultimate metric. This biomarker, derived from a straightforward formula, offers valuable insights into bio-individuality and overall well-being. Calculating your GKI involves assessing ketosis and glucose levels, and tools like a glucose ketone index calculator can simplify this process. The GKI essentially represents the ratio of glucose to ketones, providing a comprehensive snapshot of your metabolic status. Implications beyond cancer. While initially developed for cancer patients, the GKI has broader implications for performance, life optimization, and cognitive function. It serves as a biomarker indicating adherence to ketosis and metabolic wellness. Reducing the risk of health problems and chronic diseases associated with high blood pressure. Heart disease, hypertension, fatty liver, metabolic syndrome. Cardiovascular disease, heart attack, or obesity. Bio-individuality in keto, unveiling trigger foods through testing. Bio-individuality is gaining prominence in the realm of ketogenic diets. Emphasizing the significance of tailoring your keto plan based on your unique responses to specific foods. While adhering to the right types and portions of food is essential for ketosis, 
understanding which foods adversely impact you is equally crucial. Various foods can act as triggers, causing ketone dips or glucose spikes for some individuals but not for others. Common trigger foods include dairy, alternative sweeteners, alcohol, and prepackaged foods. If you're committed to a clean keto diet and consistently stay in ketosis, trigger foods may not be a concern. However, if achieving or maintaining ketosis is a challenge, or if you aspire for a higher state of ketosis for therapeutic benefits, identifying trigger foods becomes pivotal. Embrace a data-driven keto lifestyle. Recognizing trigger foods through ketone and glucose testing empowers you to optimize and personalize your keto lifestyle. Individual responses may vary, and testing provides the information needed for a tailored and successful keto journey. In conclusion, I hope you thoroughly enjoyed diving into the rich content of this video. Your engagement and support mean the world to us, and we're thrilled to have you on this journey. As we bring this chapter to a close, we're excited to let you know that there's more to come. Stay tuned for part 3, where we'll continue unraveling the Keto Diet Guide. Make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and follow us on social media platforms to stay updated on the latest releases. Thank you for being a part of our community, and we can't wait to share the next installment with you. Until then, keep exploring, learning, and enjoying the journey. See you in the next video.